Here are the top lower budget hotels on beautiful places. Number 10. Casa Pueblo, Tulum, Mexico. Casa Pueblo is what Jeffrey Bawa and James Torrell's house would look like. Its uneven black facade and massive unpolished slatted wood shutters stand out in central Tulum. Inside, a breezy atrium diffuses street noise and opens to communal tables, shady corners, and sunbeds by a saltwater pool. It's a natural light drenched blank canvas where local entrepreneurs and savvy travelers meet for hearty food, smoky cocktails, and speedy Wi-Fi. The 16 Hacienda style rooms are spacious and soothing, minimal yet seamless, with hand-sculpted sconces, creamy linens, and glass bottles of purified water. Derek Klein, who first appeared in Tulum in 2013 when he opened Gitano, drove around Mexico looking for original pieces. Terracotta vases from Chiapas, red clay dishes from Puebla, and Oaxican wood stools decorate central areas. Casa Pueblo is two miles from the beach, but it's the best place to explore cenotes and Mayan ruins. The Insider's New Base Number 9. Hotel San Jose, Texas South Congress, Soco, is one of the top shopping avenues in Austin, especially if you're a vintage fanatic. It has the legendary Honky Tonk Continental Club. San Jose was converted from a shabby motel by hotelier Liz Lambert, she also owns Hotel St. Cecilia down the road and El Cosmico, a collection of teepees, tents and trailers in Marfa. Bungalow-style rooms around a lovely courtyard. Some suites are in the original building's wings and have communal gardens or patios. The design is lo-fi with splashes of color, colorful hippie blankets sewed together to make duvet covers, purchase them at reception with Malin Plus Kits bath products, stripy kimonos in the bathrooms, cowhide rugs on concrete floors, and framed concert posters on the walls. In the living area, there are white paper lampshades in tan leather scoop chairs by Garza Marfa. Rent a hotel bike to ride around Lady Bird Lake, then drink Shinerbach and listen to DJs in the courtyard at night. Number 8. The Roby, Chicago. The newest Grupo Habita Hotel is nestled among artisan coffee shops, boutiques, and pop-up eateries. The Roby is located in Northwest Tower, a thin, triangular-shaped Art Deco marvel at the intersection of Milwaukee, North, and Damon Avenues. The hotel's bustling street-level restaurant serves French-American meals, from scrambled eggs and hash browns to steak frites. Guests then head to the uproom rooftop bar for a nightcap and to view Chicago's cityscape. Low-slung, custom-made seats are interwoven with mid-century modern finds that don't detract from the building's original features, terrazzo floors, brass embellishments, and marble wall panels. In the 89 bedrooms, there's a viridescent palette, hardwood floors, and lots of natural light, the corner suite has eight windows. This summer, enjoy mojitos and skyline views at the Cabana Club atop the Roby Hotel. Number 7. Blue Apple Beach House, Tierra Bamba, Colombia. Most visitors to Cartagena's cobbled pathways, colorful buildings, and Bougainvillea-draped balconies stay in the old town and miss the surrounding jungle and archipelago. Locals take a speedboat to Blue Apple, an eco-friendly, low-waste, Colombian expat fusion project on Tierra Bamba. Cartageneros were surprised by its position on this rocky land. Rustic style, wave-lashed location, and hammocks strung above white sand won them over. Residents include painters, yogis, singers, writers, and photographers. Adelengi style salads with a Colombian twist and gallon sized Provencal rose are served. Those in the know book one of the 10 barefoot rooms after a day of swimming and sunbathing. Some cabanas are standalone and others are in the main home. Coco, Pia, and Carozo, completed last year, offer breezy terraces with outdoor showers and plunge pools and furnishings from Tukurinka, a local firm that incorporates ancient weaving processes. Manzana has 180-degree sea views and a huge stone bathtub. Off-grid island with formentorous funk, but he is beauty and Caribbean soul. Number 6. The Kip Ahangama, Sri Lanka. As Sri Lanka's popularity as a surfing destination develops, so do the number of guest hotels and hostels along the shoreline between Gal and Welagama. The Kip is a pleasant village home turned bed and breakfast. The Kip's contemporary style and affordability have attracted a regular stream of young, socially aware travelers. While Phoebe Taylor and Seti Di Francesco, the hands on owners, aren't surfers, yet, many of their guests are. Others like the cozy atmosphere. Number 5. 
Mama Shelter, Rio de Janeiro. Santa Teresa, a hilly neighborhood with dilapidated mansions, sharply twisting walls, and bobbing bougainvillea, has a new hotspot. The sixth Mama Shelter offers 55 eccentric, contemporary rooms, eye-popping murals by local artists, and tropical charm. The building's design is urban. It gutted and renovated two townhouses with exposed brick, rough wood, and industrial steel. Jaleel Amor, a Sao Paulo-based designer and former assistant to Philippe Stark, decorated the inside with bright colors, blackboard walls, and eccentric artifacts. Underlit plastic crates are repurposed as bedside tables, and Looney Tunes masks provide a whimsical touch. The mix is crazy cozy. Video booth, virtual concierge, and co-working spaces are available. Lack of room service drives shy and fatigued karaokas to the bar and restaurant. Craft beers, caipirinhas, and a Latin-inspired food are hard to refuse. French by birth, Brazilian at heart. Number 4. The Jennings Hotel, Oregon. Joseph combines Santa Fe and Aspen. Along the cobblestone pathways are 12 bronze sculptures cast at one of four local foundries. To the south, 9,000 feet snow-capped mountains rise. Zumwalt Prairie, just north, has one of the greatest early summer wildflower displays in the West. In a 120-year-old Main Street brick structure, a chocolatier prepares alder-smoked, sea-salt caramels and juniper gin truffles. The village of 1100 is unpretentious and pleasant. Halfway through a week here, you'll be greeted by name. The Jennings combines the area's best features. 12 asymmetrical rooms, an artist residency program, and an event area with an indoor archery range. Go for a sauna and then hang out in front of the wood-burning stove in the community kitchen slash library, constructed by seven different designers. The wall lined with 21 feet long fur shelves is more eye-catching than the reading material and vinyl collection. Number 3. L.A. Riyadh Berbera, Marrakesh. Marrakesh's Riyadh set it apart from Paris and New York. The heritage-listed Medina boasts more of these homes than any other city in North Africa, and architect Quinton Wilbox has worked with UNESCO to preserve them. Wilbox's own property, La Riyad Berbera, located in Kat Ben Nahid, on the eastern fringe of the Souks. Alleys are crowded with bakeries, barbershops, and food booths. Enter the incense-scented residence through the massive wooden door for a sensory transformation. The meter-thick walls block the hawking before revealing the courtyard's garden. The double-story space takes the eye up to a tall roof terrace where housewives formerly gossiped over parapet walls. Sculpted arches, hand-painted cedarwood ceilings, and plain bijmat floor tiles reveal the building's 17th-century bones. Three of the five rooms have balconies, but staying here isn't just about sleeping well. The Riyadh is administered by Ingrid Debertry, who, along with four Marakshi women, serves home-cooked Moroccan meals, conducts yoga instruction, manicures, and massages, and explains a culture formed by its architecture. Number 2. Plantation, Cambodia. Plantation is unlike dusty, chaotic Phnom Penh. This refuge of whirring fans and tropical plants is five minutes from the Royal Palace, National Museum, and Riverbank. 20 meters long, guests only, surrounded by vegetation, cabanas, and a bar restaurant selling pizzas, green mango salad, and a lemongrass, coriander, and ginger beer cocktail. New spa provides massages for 15 pounds. Also, history. After independence, the 30s buildings became the Ministry of Labor. Alexis de Chermaines Mad's organization saved them from demolition and plantation opened in 2011. Calm, neutral, and stylish rooms contain four-poster beds, colorful Khmer silk pillows, and warm hardwood furnishings. Open bathrooms make rooms brighter and airier, the loo is private, thankfully, and twin rooms have enclosed bathrooms. Number 1. Hotel L.A. Samilla, Playa del Carmen. Playa del Carmen is an unlikely place to find Hotel La Samilla, established by a fifth-generation Swiss hotelier and his Mexican wife. The duo met while working at the Plaza Athene in New York. They opened their own hotel in 2014 on Playa del Carmen's Fifth Avenue. The couple spent a year shopping at La Lagunilla Flea Market and Yucatan Haciendas. A booklet in each bedroom tells where the furnishings came from, a pirate chest from Merida and a mid-century shower headlight. What do you think about our video? 
please let us know in the comments area below. If you enjoyed this video and would want to hear from me again, please subscribe and turn on the notification before leaving. Thank you for watching us.